welcome back to another video today 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 um it's a little bit exciting because we're at one of our favorite local hot spots in jamaica and we've heard a lot of myths stories about this place and we'll just come pay a little visit so today the video is actually sponsored by red stripe of course i'm so happy for that big up on a self um so we're gonna just we're tour we're gonna meet the owner and you know just get a feel of what the place is about so we could start the video I don't think the camera is doing any justice guys because you know, I don't know something about the view might it give you this sense of peace. No, it some of the local hotspots that you guys have already been to or you haven't been to yet but you want to go you know the popular the not so popular because then you know me go both i really prefer the not so popular ones though um for the excitement factor of it of course but you know we'll go everywhere we'll go anyway yeah Going back upstairs. Ooh, that's not my yellow. Miss Jamaica. Hi guys, we're here with the operator of Lover's Leap, Jason Kenzel. And today he's going to tell us a little bit about Lover's Leap. Um, what it is that you guys can expect coming here. You know, it's one of our local hotspots. So we're going to have a little chit chat. Hi Jason. Hi, hi, and thank you for coming to Lover's Leap. Yes, no this place you. has a very special um, place in my heart. Yeah. You know, because it's an iconic place. Mm -hmm. um, and those of us who went to school in Jamaica would even have grown up with learning about the history of Lover's Leap. Um, it's, some people see it as a dark story, some people see, people see it as a very romantic story. Um, so it's based on your perspective, right? Um, but the, the area was a plantation owned by a man by the name of Mr. Yardley. So this area is called Yardley Chase. Um, and there were slaves apparently on the property. And um, the, 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 the legend is that two slaves were, were in love with each other and that the slave master um, didn't like that because he, he liked the girl for himself. So he was gonna separate um, the male and send the male to another plantation. They heard of this um, and met here at night secretly and they were accosted by, by um, Mr. Yardley and I guess armed um, persons 
And instead of surrendering and being apart, they held hands and left over the 1,700 feet to their, to their death. We call it the most romantic spot in Jamaica because for two persons to hold hands and lead to their certain death, in, instead of being separated, um, you know, shows that it is, it is um, you know, a, a romantic place. Um, and it's funny because I was here one day and all of a sudden I heard this girl fall out and her, her, her boyfriend had proposed to her, went down on his knees and proposed to her. And it happens here a lot. A lot of proposals, a lot of anniversaries, a lot of weddings. Um, so our tagline for Lovers Leap is the most romantic spot in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. okay. So pretty much persons can come here and just expect to be in a way by the atmosphere Surrounding. Correct. You know, when you come to the veranda here and look over the 1700 foot drop off, it is, it is breathtaking. Mm -hmm. And there is a trail that goes down to it. Um, and people do the trail almost weekly. Mm -hmm. We have at least a few sets of people who will do it. I've done it a few times um, and it's so beautiful. Um, it's a rocky path, um, there are some stairs in certain areas. Um, but it, it's a hard path because most hikes you would start at the bottom and climb up like you know if you're going up Blue Mountain Peak or, um, but this, this, this hike of course starts at the top mm -hmm. and goes down so if, if you don't know how fit you really are you, you could potentially get into, into trouble down there. So how long is the hike? The hike depending on your fitness level is approximately two and a half hours an hour down and an hour and a half up. Uh, we recommend you know going with a guide taking a lot of water mm -hmm. taking a big hat um, and really hydrating you know and, and listening to your body because there's some people who go halfway down and then and then that's fine right we're not judging this <laughs> and then um two weekends ago there was a bicycle ride from treasure beach up to lovers Lake. so that has also become a popular thing yeah Try it one day. <laughs> yes. But you know, we approached um, Red Stripe um, to make this one of the projects for their centenary to, to, to celebrate um, Denos and Geddes being 100 years old. Yeah. Um, so when you look around, um, we have a lot of old artifacts that speak to the history of Denos and Geddes, um, which actually didn't start off with Red Stripe there until 1928 is when they started Red Stripe. Um, so, you know, we, we have some old pictures here of the original factory on Ketchum Street. Yeah. And we have the founders, um, Peter Denno, Paul Geddes, um, you know, and we have a lot of the old um, advertising that was used um, throughout Jamaica. So it, it, it tells you a lot about the history of, of, of the company, but also Jamaica. But how was your relationship with Red Stripe, the brand, how has that been um, since they came on? It's been an excellent relationship. I find the persons who work with Red Stripe um, to be very um, enthusiastic, to, to believe in the brand as a lifestyle brand. Um, they're forward thinking, they, have, they work with very creative people. And um, I can tell you that even right here at Lovers Leap, I got a, um, an, an interior decorator, designer. And um, they worked along with that person. So it was a collaboration. And um, they were open to that, which I found um, to be very forward thinking. They weren't just putting you in a box and saying it has to be like this. So a lot of this old, um, these old artifacts we even found on eBay, right? Or we, we asked people if they had any old pictures. Um, my wife's family had some old pictures because my wife's great grandfather is who started Red Stripe. Um, at Denos and Geddes, so it's something that means a lot to us, and um, you know it's it's good to know that it also meant a lot to, to Red Stripe as a brand. At, the, at present, the location is not open, so when can we expect things to be done, and what can persons expect also when they come on property? Okay, so we plan to open July first, um, back at Lovers Lead, and we're going to be adding pizza. Pizza is extremely popular at our second restaurant, Jack's Brat. Mm -hmm. 
So persons have been asking for it to come up here. Um, we're going to go back to having live music on a Sunday. Um, this is a particularly popular place on a Sunday for, for families. Um, they come after church, um, they bring friends and family, um, the kids have ice cream and are running around on the lawn. Um, you know, sometimes we show a movie, um, a romantic movie. Um, is that what's in the yard? No, um, we have a drop down screen right below the red stripe logo right there and a oh. projector up here. Um, so we, we always have that concept of romance, right? So clearly we show romantic movies on, on the large screen here. Um, you know, and we um, are looking to add a children's playing area. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really just the pandemic why we have been forced, unfortunately, to close temporarily. Yeah. We also have a good relationship with, you know, TPD Co who are the custodians of Lovers Lake because it's, the land is actually owned by the Commissioner of Lands, by the people of Jamaica. Um, and right now, you know, we are the ones, we're the operators and we take that as a big responsibility and something we're very proud of. It's nice speaking with you, nice being here, um, learning a bit about the history of Lovers Lake. We hope to come back when it's actually open and, you know, get to experience the full vibes right. of Lovers Lake. Absolutely. I look forward to that. Yes. Thank you for coming. <laughs>